With more than 5 million people, the Ruhr area is the largest metropolitan area in Germany. Seven of Germany's top 100 companies have their headquarters in the city of Essen, the so-called secret capital of the region. Right here is where we have our headquarters too. Trendsetting technology, a high-quality standard and the ability to respond to economic and environmental requirements at any time. This is what Scherzer stands for. Scherzer is one of the world's leading companies in planning and construction of turnkey plant projects. With more than 50 years of experience in transloading and storage of liquid and gaseous products, we serve our international customers in the petroleum and chemical industries, as well as many other industries. In the following, we will now introduce the principle of our on-spot loading technology on the basis of a recent project that we were able to implement for a large German oil and gas company, from the initial conceptual scoping study to construction completion and startup. Particular attention was paid to the high safety standards of the refinery in all phases of the project. All components of the on-spot terminal are designed for and therefore suitable and intended for use in the refinery's explosion zone. Inclusive the first four plans Including the initial preliminary planning phase, it took about three years from inception to completion to build this on-spot terminal for loading primarily diesel and heating oil. In two-shift operation, a total of about 6,200 tons of product per day are being filled on two loading tracks, which corresponds to 95 tank cars. With five working days per week, this results in an annual product output of approximately 1.55 million tons or 1.85 million cubic meters. This is equivalent to 11.6 million barrels per year or 46,500 barrels per day. This terminal has two filling points, one filling point per track. Each loading track can accommodate groups of up to 12 rail cars at a time. Loading on both tracks can either be done simultaneously or in a staggered approach, which allows for flexibility and optimal utilization. According to customer needs, groups of rail cars can be assembled without any mixing of the products to be filled. The entire system is controlled from a control room, which is located centrally between the tracks at the level of the manhole opening of the rail tank cars, with good visibility of the filling stations. It is equipped with one control panel per track, a DCS monitoring system and a loading computer. To ensure explosion protection in accordance with ATEX and international explosion protection regulations, the control room in this facility is equipped with a ventilation and overpressure monitoring system. The loading process is being started. The rail cars are delivered to the tracks outside of the on-spot loading terminal area as a complete group by a locomotive or shunting vehicle. From there they are divided into subgroups and distributed onto the two loading tracks. The access points to the loading tracks are positively blocked by switch locks. This ensures that during loading operations no unauthorized maneuvering or shunting takes place inside the loading terminal area. After the access gates are closed, the track turn signals are switched to red. In addition to the traffic lights, the positions of the track switches are continuously monitored. While the shunting vehicle or locomotive drop off or pick up rail car groups on the loading tracks, Electric shunting robots wait in their dedicated parking positions. The maneuvering and precise positioning of the rail tank cars for loading is now being carried out by the robots. Their operation is limited within the terminal track area. In the event of an unauthorized crossing, any movement is automatically stopped. Each robot is equipped with a front and rear view camera, which are connected to the control room. 
This allows operators to monitor the automatic coupling of railcars and robots from inside the control room. The shunting robots maneuver the railcars into three positions within the loading area. At position 1, the manhole or dome lid of the rail tank car is opened manually. At position 2, the filling takes place and at position 3, the dome lid is being closed again. In order to allow the operators to safely reach the top of the rail tank cars and to open and close the dome cover, special ramps have been designed that facilitate access. These are equipped with a pivoting folding staircase and a pivoting protective cage for fall protection. The folding staircase is equipped with a spring-loaded cylinder for weight compensation and has limiters for up and down positions for safe operation. The protective cage is driven up and down by two pneumatics and is also equipped with position limiters. After opening, the rail tank car is being moved to position 2 of the loading area. Here, the robot performs the fully automatic positioning onto the way scale, exactly beneath the filling tube. The operator must confirm the correct position on the track scale by visual verification. The operator then starts the calibrated weighing process by pressing the operating button Rail Tank Car in position. The entire loading process of each individual rail tank car with regards to product type, empty weight fill capacity, etc. is being prepared and registered within the tank storage automation systems and then called upon individually for loading. According to the specifications of this particular refinery customer, the maximum filling rate per filling point is 500 cubic meter per hour. Generally, the maximum permissible filling rate for Scherzer filling tubes is 730 cubic meter per hour according to the TÜV certificate. The filling tube assembly is mounted on tracks and can travel hydraulically. It allows for a lateral travel of plus minus 100 mm and a longitudinal travel of approximately 2.8 meters. The lateral and longitudinal movements can be controlled by joystick operation from the control panel inside the control room. The operator can visually verify that the filling tube aligns exactly with the dome opening. An internal hydraulic cylinder ensures that the telescopic filling tube reaches a length of 4250 mm to extend into the tank car. Vapors are discharged via the inner filling tube and via a vertically guided telescopic tube that is connected to a vapor recovery system. An inflatable sealing ring attached to the filling tube allows hermetic sealing of the dome on the tank car during loading. Depending upon country-specific requirements, Scherzer also offers a spring-loaded sealing plate as an alternative to the sealing ring. Once loading readiness is confirmed, the operator can now initiate product flow with a start button. Product valves and the control valve are being opened. The control valve is set to a low product flow during the initial phase of the filling process. At the beginning, this low flow phase is maintained up to a minimum quantity of about 15 cubic meters until it is ensured that the outlet of the filling tube is completely covered by the product. The position of the control valve is limited to approximately 10 to 40 percent. After reaching the minimum quantity, the high flow is being activated. The flow rate set point is increased to the maximum value allowed for the selected product. The weighing system uses data and signal exchange with a PLC system to control the quantity metering. The specification for filling capacity and the acceptance of the weighing results is done by means of communication with a tank storage automation system. This can also be achieved in manual mode on the weighing system screen or in the WinCC system. During loading, the operator can follow the process on the DCS screen as well as on indicator lights on the control panel. 
At the end of loading, the flow of the last 2 to 3 tons of product is automatically reduced back to the low flow value. The position of the control valve in this phase is again about 10 to 40 percent. The loading process stops about 200 to 500 kilograms before reaching the high set point and the control valve is being closed. The DCS confirms with a message product valves and control valve closed. Once all valves are confirmed closed, the ventilation phase is being initiated. In this phase, the control valve moves to 50 to 80 percent and the vent or bleed valve is being opened. The remaining amount of liquid in the product manifold free drains through the filling tube into the rail tank car. At the end of the ventilation phase, all valves are automatically closed. The loading process is complete and the filling tube rises back up. For overflow protection, there are two separate PTC thermistor probes per filling tube. The probes are located at the top of the filling tube and the loading process is being stopped in case the product level reaches the probes and an associated temperature change is being detected. After each loading, the hydraulically operated filling tube automatically returns back to the upper position. In order to avoid that residual droplets at the bottom of the filling tube cause a spill, the system is designed with a pneumatically operated drip pan. After the last rail tank car has been loaded, the group of rail cars is being moved outside of the loading area, secured and decoupled from the shunting robot. The robot then moves back to the parking position. After reaching the necessary safety distance, which is signaled by signals in the track area outside of the on-spot terminal, a shunting vehicle or locomotive may then pick up the filled rail tank cars upon unlocking the track light. All control and monitoring systems are located in a separate substation outside of the loading facility and hazardous areas. The substation also includes the electrical supply and the power distribution of the entire loading system as well as all ancillary units. The electrical supply is redundant. Three uninterruptible power supply or UPS systems ensure the operation of the most important systems during short-term power failures or even a complete power failure. Our railcar loading terminals are designed to the highest safety standards. They represent state-of-the-art technology based on the experience of around 300 installed filling tube systems in more than 80 on-spot terminals worldwide. The product handling spectrum ranges from classic light products such as gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, via gas condensate, aromatics and other chemical products, all the way to heated heavy products with a loading temperature of up to 200 degrees Celsius. After final turnover of the facility, we offer maintenance service and after-sales support to our customers to ensure a reliable long-term operation of handling products. Shelter. Loading your fuel.